The 2020 member load forecast is showing is for some members slower growth than in previous years, while overall growth has increased due to substantial load growth in the Bakken. Robert Frank is a load forecast analyst. He says in addition to data from members, Basin Electrics also collects data on economics, demographics, heating and cooling degree days, and sector analysis. He uses heat maps to show some of that data. For example, where wheat, soybeans and corn are harvested and where cattle and hogs reside and are sold. Some of the most interesting ones was to look at things like unemployment and also the poverty level just to see kind of the diversity within the range of our membership. We have places that are impoverished and we have places that are doing quite well. And taken as a total, the heat maps also really illuminate just how diverse our membership is. We have a lot of different economies within our membership. We have a lot of different uh, farm uh, crops, a lot of different mining, a lot of different things like that. So it adds to the diversification of what we have with the, throughout our membership, the robustness, and those are all the things that we use to come up with our forecast. So we build models for each cooperative, and we do roughly nine to 10 different models, and we'll do different categories. We're, we'll forecast the residential load. We'll forecast small commercial and then large and the different areas like that. So the more data that we have available, the more the, the better we can build our models. Jay Lundstrom is lead load forecast analyst and says natural gas is greatly impacting the forecast in the Bakken oil formation. Because of the associated gas that comes with the oil production, um, dealing with that is, is starting to become a, an issue for those producers up there. And what we're seeing is the midstream folks are actually coming in and, and developing all those pipelines, the takeaway capacity, the, the, the gas plants to deal with all the natural gas. And so we're seeing that as a prime mover for a lot of the electricity needs for our members in the Wilson Basin. That's the difficulty that they're facing every single day. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's not necessarily the oil. The oil is going to get extracted, the natural gas and dealing with it. And, you know, if the forecasts continue, the gas to oil ratio is going to increase more rapidly and we're going to have more gas to deal with in, in years to come. So we're, what, right now what we're seeing is, is that's the big mover. Once we get that situation handled, um, you know, full steam ahead for the, for the oil development.